Welcome to another Moz Play video. This is Moz Mojito, and today we're going to be jumping into a game that I tried out in the past. We're playing Oxygen Not Included. Let's get to it. All right, so we're back in it. Um, I tried this game out before and I was completely lost, did not know what to do, um, was completely frustrated with it, but I went ahead uh, through the motions just to give it a try out. You start off with uh, three replicants or duplicates or whatever they're called. They all have different traits and you pretty much hit accept and go. Uh, eventually you do have the option to clone in and bring more uh, duplicates and grow your colony uh, so um, after struggling with the uh, the first playthrough I uh, went online looked at some other uh, YouTube videos uh, shout out to magnet for putting some really good content out there for oxygen not included uh, but kind of learned the basics from there so we're gonna revisit this uh, game and we're gonna see if we can kind of unscrew this situation that I got myself in when I kind of last gave up on the game um, and just pick it up from there. If this game cannot be saved, I'll probably just, you know, refresh and start a new one. But right now I'm going to see if I can at least at least work with what I got, what I started and uh, and go from there. So we have to clean up the oxygen, as you can see, looking at the areas here. It's nighttime. Everyone's sleeping. Uh, the game's pause, so I'm just kind of give you an idea of what the map looks like. That's why everything's kind of dark right now. We have, uh, from what I learned from watching videos, we have different areas of the map. Some areas have water, some areas have gas, uh, some areas have a lot of carbon monoxide or chlorine gas. Um, but what you really want is your area to have as much oxygen as possible. And to do that, you get various machines and stuff to clean clean and scrub the air um, so we're just kind of right now I'm just kind of looking around just to see the lay of the land now I kind of have an understanding of what the different terrain areas are after watching some videos and then we're gonna basically take it from there so uh, we're gonna speed this up um, as you can see we have the timer up top uh, I always try to keep it on the fastest speed possible especially to have these guys wake up soon and here we go, daytime. So they're right back at it with uh, cleaning, it looks like, and disinfecting things. That's why you see the green smoke. Um, but as you can see, a lot of my gadgets need power uh, and manpower. One other gadget says they have a duplicate ready if I want to have them join. Uh, but the air is pretty, pretty toxic. That's why you kind of see people struggling to breathe. So. Um, we're going to try to get that cleaned up. We got a couple machines out there pump, pumping oxygen into the air. Uh, we have some decent pockets of oxygen, but we have quite a few toxic areas. Uh, so my guys are also farming in the toxic areas and then quickly trying to get up. But you can see that guy has some green bubbles on him. Um, but we're going to see what we can do to try to salvage this. Uh, we got a couple power lines put in place, but they haven't been constructed yet. Um, so that's another thing. Two people on the generator. Uh, that one person got tired and passed out. Um, and then we have one kind of guy running around sucking up resources and when he has time doing some building. So um, she's back on the treadmill. I'm not sure what the uh, the cheeks puffed out could be either they're sick, uh, the air is polluted or Maybe they ate something that's making them sick, but you can see the little emojis there, sad face emojis. Oh, that person is really sick. So hopefully by us cleaning up this area, it's going to uh, take away some of those sad faces and turn them, turn them into happy faces. But first, we got to drain some of this water uh, because they can hold their breath under there, but not too long. So. Um, we already have a couple areas marked for digging, as you can see from the shovel on the screen. And uh, eventually my guy will get to it. It's just he's trying to do a lot of stuff. Um, and my other person is busy running on a generator trying to produce electricity. So we'll let this ride out and see how they do. And um, 
it's already kind of fast forwarded if i have to fast forward some more uh, i will right now it's playing at normal speed but um, this is pretty much the gist of where i'm at this is where i left off at when i last tried it and i'm gonna see if i can recover Okay, so um, another day is wrapped up. My guys were very busy, uh, either picking up resources, generating power, or just running around, constructing things, uh, just kind of kept them busy. Fast forwarding the sleeping process, they're gonna wake up and disinfect, uh, and hopefully um, continue digging out that area beneath. I'm gonna convert uh, some of the lower areas to some solid walkways um, and then try to kind of build. I saw some really good examples of some maps uh, on YouTube as far as base layouts. I'm going to see if I can kind of mirror some of that setup just to be efficient. I'm more about efficient than large, you know, super big uh, bases. I just want a nice, efficient base where everyone's busy and doing something. Um, but still got a ways to dig out. And I still got a ton of water there um, 
that I need to either drain out or filter or whatever. I think you want to have some water from what I remember watching, but you don't need to have too much water. Just deep enough so that you can do some uh, do some certain things where machines that need water and stuff can connect to it. So well, we're going to just go ahead and take these bridges all the way across and then anything underneath. We're going to go ahead and clear those out. But yeah, um, we'll see how these strategies work. It, it seems to work pretty well with people that's very familiar with this game. I'm gonna see if I can duplicate some of these strategies and make it work for me. Okay, so uh, taking a look at our duplicates, everyone's busy. We got a little pop-up menu here. Um, looks like a skill tree here for our different characters. I guess I have one skill point available so I can unlock something. So I'm gonna make that person a better digger. Uh, this one, uh, I'm going to make him a better builder. And then this guy, uh, I'm going to make this character better researcher. All right, so we spent up all of our skill points. And then again, we have the typical work management uh, screen, kind of like several games that I played, uh, Alien Stranded Dawn being the latest, but you can basically turn on and off priority levels uh, depending on what you want your, your duplicates to be working on. Obviously, the higher the skill set, the higher the priority you want them doing that because they're probably gonna do that skill much more efficiently. So we're going to go through and make sure that all these tabs and these sub menus, everything looks good and um, people are staying efficient and productive and not idle. I may need to add one or two more duplicates in here, but I need to make sure I have a good food supply first before before I bring in more duplicates and can't feed them.
All right, so our machine is flashing, telling us that we have an option to add another duplicate or even get a care package. I can even choose to, to get a care package instead of uh, another duplicate. Some food there with the omelet. Or I can bring in Nisbet or May. So we're going to bring in Nisbet. That gives us one more person or character that can be busy working and doing some things. Uh, just have to make sure I have enough beds for everyone. Um, I brought Nesbitt in before I can even lay a bed down for her. So I'm going to find a good spot where I can put a bed. Um, one of the things I've seen people do, uh, especially on, on their uh, setups, is they have like a dedicated space for a bedroom. They put all the beds in there together. And they have the beds kind of spaced out with a little gap in between them. And then they close off that bedroom to kind of limit how much extra light is coming in or how much extra noise is coming in. So I'm going to try to do the same thing with my bedroom sets up, setups. Once I got these beds built, I'll go ahead and demolish the old ones. All right, so the beds are going in. Uh, my character is uh, going ahead and build those. You notice I've done the roof levels. I like to try to have the roofs at least two squares high for my character's heads. Uh, that way I don't feel like they're cramped in or you know it's claustrophobic phobic or anything like that. So I'm gonna try to keep all the levels the same, at least two squares up above our characters. And then I'm gonna put a nice solid sandstone or tile uh, across so that they have a walkway and everything will be connected with ladders which is pretty much the set setup that i've seen many people use on their um, tutorials All right, so now that we have our beds laid down, we're gonna do one equal uh, 
uh, for every bed we're going to put an outhouse down so that everyone has a dedicated potty and i think i can even assign potties to people i'm not sure um but if it's anything like most of these other similar type of uh colony games uh, you'll pretty much be able to do that some of the stuff i'm gonna have to demolish and move because it's just in the way of what i'm trying to do um but that's going to be the plan upstairs will be the bedroom downstairs will be the outhouse uh bathroom area uh kitchen or i'm sorry yeah just the bathroom cleanup area and then i'm gonna make an area dedicated to eating and cooking and all that all the other areas will be pretty much either production or just mining and uh we already have people just finishing up the bedroom right now, so hopefully that can get done pretty quick. Alright, so um, we got our outhouses almost finished. Uh, as our workers were going through, uh, breaking through the lower level to build that ladder, they opened up a path for a lot of this uh, nasty gas to kind of seep up and through. So it's going to take a minute for my oxygen scrubbers to clean up that air uh, to, to freshen it up. But that's why you see the screen turn kind of an icky green. Because uh, as they were digging down to to build that ladder and go on to the lower levels, there's some some type of gas. I don't know if that's chlorine gas or carbon monoxide, but it's going to take a while for uh, for it to be cleaned up. And then the screen will go back to a normal color like it looks like it's starting to do now. So I guess it didn't take that long for them to clean up that gas. Alright, so we got everything laid out. Uh, we got our bedroom sleeping area. We have our outhouse area. Uh, we're working on our electrical grid. So everyone's uh, pretty busy. So at this point, I think we're coming to a pretty decent stopping point and we're going to put a bookmark in the video. 
So um, really like my second playthrough. I, I think the watching the YouTube videos really helped out, make me help me understand the game a little bit better. So um, as always, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Please remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe because it really helps out the channel and we will see you in the next video.